Today we are discussing the best stocks to buy, so let's dive in. Eli Lilly shares have soared over 100% in the past year, bringing the company to a market value of more than $740 billion. Investors are enthusiastic about the pharmaceutical company due to its dominance in the billion dollar weight loss drug market. Lilly sells two weight loss drugs that together are bringing in billions of dollars in revenue, and demand for the products has even outpaced supply. If you have missed out on Lilly's substantial gains, Gains, do not worry. You can still seize other opportunities thanks to the biotech and pharma industry's endless flow of innovation and product launches. These may fuel immediate as well as long-term share price gains. Another stock that should be on your radar is Moderna, ticker symbol MRNA. Today it is known for its blockbuster coronavirus vaccine. That product, the company's one and only, helped the stock soar in earlier stages of the pandemic, but in more recent times prompted investors to worry about future growth as demand for vaccination dropped. The good news is Moderna may not be a one-product player for long. The company has a significant catalyst coming up, with the United States Food and Drug Administration set to decide on its RSV vaccine by May 12th. Though Pfizer and GSK already have commercialized their RSV vaccines, Moderna could have an edge for two reasons. First, the two large pharmaceutical companies reported cases of the rare neurological condition Guillain-Barre syndrome in their clinical trials. Moderna did not. So healthcare providers may prefer the safety profile of the potential Moderna product. And second, Moderna's investigational vaccine is the only one to come in a pre-filled syringe format. This too could win over those who administer the vaccine because it cuts down on the potential for errors and speeds up the vaccination process. All of this means that even though Moderna is later to market than Pfizer and at GSK, it still could carve out a significant share and even leadership. The peak annual RSV market could be $10 billion, according to Moderna, so this vaccine may become a significant growth product for the biotech, and that makes now an excellent time to invest in Moderna at the bargain level of 8.5 times forward earnings. Up next, we have Vertex Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol VRTX. Vertex Pharmaceuticals does not just have one significant catalyst around the corner, it has two. The biotech giant aims to submit two approval requests to the FDA by the middle of this year, one for a new cystic fibrosis treatment candidate and another for its investigational pain medication, Vertex is already known as the world's leader in CF treatment thanks to its drug's top performance, extending patients' lives and quality of life. Now, it may extend this by launching an investigational treatment that is even better than its current bestseller. The large biotech company is also expanding beyond this specialty, and through its clinical trials, it has shown it has what it takes to excel in other areas too. Vertex recently reported positive data from phase 3 trials of its non-opioid pain candidate VX548. The company aims to win a broad label for the treatment of moderate to severe acute pain and later gain approval in chronic pain. This could be a massive opportunity because today pain treatments are limited to over-the-counter ones with limited efficacy or prescription opioids which are linked to addiction. The Vanza Triple and VX548 could offer Vertex's already solid solid revenue growth a significant boost, and that makes the shares trading at 24 times forward earnings estimates today look like an excellent deal. The next stock you need to know about is Intellia Therapeutics. Intellia Therapeutics specializes in CRISPR gene editing, which fixes faulty genes responsible for disease. The technique involves cutting DNA at a certain location so that a natural repair process can occur. This innovative company does not yet have a product on the market, but it could reach commercialization soon and has several key catalysts coming up. Intellia recently dosed the first patient in its phase 3 trial of NTLA-2001 for transthyretin amyloidosis with cardiomyopathy also known as ATT. Are. Intellia aims to complete patient enrollment for this study as well as the pivotal study of NTLA-2002 for hereditary angioedema within the coming three years. ATTR, caused by an accumulation of a misfolded protein, impacts various organs, while HAE is a condition that results in excessive and unpredictable swelling. This is an excellent time for Intellia to be nearing the regulatory finish line. Their peer, CRISPR Therapeutics, recently won approval for the world's first CRISPR-based treatment, showing regulators are open to giving the nod to this newish technology, so now could be the moment to invest in Intellia stock. Next, we have Ginkgo Bioworks, ticker symbol DNA. Ginkgo Bioworks is a cell engineering and biosecurity company that has game-changing potential across industries. 
Healthcare represents a particularly interesting opportunity, and the company is seeing growth in this area, with biopharma revenue soaring over 40% last year. The company's platform can help drug makers select the best molecules and improve manufacturing processes, and Ginkgo already works with many well-known companies, from Pfizer to Eli Lilly. Ginkgo's number of new biopharma programs has also advanced, reaching 23 today from 7 back in 2020. Ginkgo is in growth mode right now, adding more and more cell engineering programs to its portfolio and ramping up its biosecurity business to focus on long-term infrastructure, and this should lead to a recurrent revenue model for the biosecurity unit. And Ginkgo has the financial strength to keep the growth going with almost $950 million in cash. The company says it has a multi-year runway to reach profitability and other goals. All of this could position Ginkgo shares for explosive growth, and that means an investment today could pay off over the long run. And the last stock is Palantir Technologies. For many years, Palantir sold three core software products, which would include Apollo, Gotham, and Foundry. But last April, it quietly announced its foray into artificial intelligence following the release of AIP. But AIP's launch was largely overshadowed by the moves big tech was making. In order to spread the word about AIP, Palantir resorted to a creative lead generation strategy. Namely, the company began hosting immersive seminars called boot camps. During these sessions, prospective customers are able to demo Palantir's various software platforms. The idea behind this was to show off Palantir's tech chops in a tangible way, while simultaneously helping business leaders identify and form a use case surrounding artificial intelligence. Since the beginning of this campaign, Palantir has hosted over 850 boot camps. Moreover, AIP customers have publicly demonstrated how the product is being used to uncover new insights across a myriad of applications. While AIP has only been commercially available for about a year, its initial success is encouraging. Palantir increased its customer count by 35% year-over-year in 2023 and is making progress in the private sector. During the fourth quarter alone, the company grew its United States commercial revenue operation by a sizzling 70%. Accelerating revenue is always nice to see. For Palantir, it is particularly meaningful because the company has gotten some pushback from Wall Street skeptics over the years, many of whom see the company as too reliant on lumpy government deals with the United States military and its Western allies. However, AIP is proving that Palantir has legitimate tech capabilities that are attracting customers from a whole host of industries outside of the public sector. Considering big tech's pulse within the overall AI landscape, Palantir is proving that it can compete with the biggest companies. I see 2024 as the first chapter in a long story in the AI narrative for the company. It is moving fast, and other behemoths in tech are eager to work with Palantir AIP. It is well positioned to continue generating robust revenue growth while maintaining a healthy profitability profile and a strong balance sheet. Palantir's valuation multiples expanded dramatically following its jaw-dropping fourth quarter earnings report in February. Since then, the stock has experienced some momentum and is only now starting to take a breather. Furthermore, it is not just revenue growth that is impressive for Palantir. The company's entire financial picture is strong. The success of the boot camps has allowed Palantir to keep expenses in sales and marketing relatively low. As such, the company is consistently profitable unlike many of its competitors. In 2023, Palantir expanded its operating margin by 6%. This dropped right to the bottom line, as the company generated $730 million of free cash flow in 2023. With shares trading at such a premium compared to the competition, investors may be tempted to sell and book some profits. But I would encourage investors to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. While AIP has served as a catalyst for Palantir's business and played an influential role in the excitement pushing the stock higher, the company's shares are still down 40% from their all-time highs. Using dollar cost averaging is a prudent strategy to initiate a position or add to an existing one. With so much potential upside, it is hard to overlook Palantir, and if you want more videos like this one, please press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.